Halloween. Hello, everyone. My name is Richard. Hello, I'm Justin, and this is Michael. Welcome to our lesson. We are happy to see you, guys. Today is the thirty-first of October, and it's a special day for all children and adults in the UK and many other countries of the world. Richard, Justin, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. What is so special about this day, Michael? Today is Halloween. What is Halloween? It's a wonderful holiday. Many people around the world love this holiday so much. Oh, really? Yes, of course. Well, I haven't heard anything about Halloween before. Oh, that's weird. Michael, would you like us to tell you about this mysterious holiday? Sure, that would be wonderful. Okay, in this case, let's start. So, today in the lesson we will talk about Halloween and do the quiz. Halloween is celebrated on the thirty-first of October. In such countries as the UK, the USA, Canada, Germany, and so on, Halloween is a shortened version of All Hallows Day or All Saints Day. The celebration of Halloween marks the day before the Western Christian feast of All Saints and initiates the season of All Hallow Tide, which lasts three days and concludes with All Souls Day. All Hallow Tide is a time to remember the dead, including martyrs, saints, and all faithful departed Christians. Halloween had its origins in the festival of Samhain, the god of death, among the Celts of ancient Britain and Ireland. During the Samhain festival, the souls of those who had died were believed to return to visit their homes. And those who had died during the year were believed to journey to the other world. People set bonfires on hilltops for relighting their hearth fires for the winter and to frighten away evil spirits. They also wore masks or other disguises and blackened their faces to pass unnoticed by the spirits. This arose from the belief that ghosts or spirits cannot see their own reflection, and if a goblin or demon saw another creature looking suitably horrible, they wouldn't touch it. It was in those ways that beings such as witches, goblins, fairies, and demons came to be associated with the day. Halloween. Is a day to remember all the dead, but gradually its celebration has changed greatly from a serious spiritual day to a humorous and ridiculous death confrontation. Nowadays, this holiday has been assimilated to the societies of different countries, but nothing can be compared with the annual parade in New York devoted to Halloween. It is a major nighttime parade. Where thousands of participants wear colorful costumes, millions of spectators follow it either being present there or on TV. The traditional colors of the festivity are black and orange. Black is the color of long winter nights, and orange is the color of autumn harvest. Halloween has many easily identifiable symbols. The main symbol of the festival is a pumpkin carved in a particular way. It looks like a head with two wide-open eyes, a triangle nose, a creepy smile, 
and a candle inside to glow in the darkness. People place pumpkins on their window sills and in the gardens to frighten evil spirits away. Thanks to their mysterious power, black cats have also become the symbols of Halloween. On Halloween, children usually dress up as witches, skeletons, or ghosts, go out in groups, and knock at people's doors, yelling the phrase "trick or treat." Usually, people give children sweets, fruit, and candies, but if they don't, the children can play a trick on them. At night, children and teenagers tell each other horror stories and legends. The most popular legend is about Bloody Mary. She is said to appear in a mirror when her name is called three times. Organization of attractions where visitors are got scared is also an important tradition. On this holiday, television broadcasts a lot of horror films and cartoons. Halloween is a special day when we can show our fantasy and live in the world of dead for a little while. Michael, we've told you about Halloween, its symbols and traditions. Yes, that's right, guys. Now we would like to check your knowledge, if you don't mind. Oh, sure, no problem. Great. In this case, we would like you to do the quiz. It consists of eight tasks. Task one. Look at the pictures and unscramble the words. The pictures are, and the words are. Check yourselves. The right answers are, costumes, window sills, pumpkin, creepy. The following pictures are. And the words are. Let's check. The right answers are. Darkness, frighten, spirits, mysterious. Task two. Answer the question. When do Americans? Canadians and the British celebrate Halloween. The variants are: A. They celebrate it on the first of October. B. They celebrate Halloween on the twenty-third of November. C. They celebrate it on the thirty-first of October. D. They celebrate Halloween on the fifth of November. Check yourselves. The right answer is C. Task three. Read the text and fill in the missing words. At night, children and teenagers tell each other stories, and the most popular legend is about Mary. She is said to appear in a. When her is called times. Let's check. The missing words are horror, legends, bloody, mirror, name, three. Task four. Complete the sentence. Thanks to their mysterious power, have also become the symbols of Halloween. The variants are: a. Red foxes, b. 
black cats. C. White pigeons. D. Brown dogs. Check yourselves. The right answer is B. Task five. Answer the question. Which of these activities do people usually do on Halloween? The variants are: send cards to their friends and relatives, dress up as witches, skeletons, or ghosts, give presents to each other, pull crackers, go trick or treating, tell each other horror stories and legends, watch romantic films, carve creepy faces out of pumpkins. Watch horror films and cartoons. Make a snowman. Let's check. The right answer is: On Halloween, people usually dress up as witches, skeletons, or ghosts, go trick or treating, tell each other horror stories and legends, carve creepy faces out of pumpkins, and watch horror films. And cartoons. Task six. Read the sentences about Halloween and say if they are true or false. One, the main symbol of Halloween is a pumpkin carved in a particular way. Two, people place pumpkins on their window sills and in the gardens to make other people laugh. Three. Halloween had its origins in the festival of Samhain, the god of wisdom and courage. Four, during the Samhain festival, the souls of those who had died were believed to return to visit their homes. Five, the traditional colors of the festivity are black and green. Check yourselves. The right answers are: one, true; two, false; three, false; four, true; five, false. Task seven. Answer the question: What do people usually put inside a carved pumpkin? The variants are: a. They put a stone inside a pumpkin. B. People put a flashlight inside a pumpkin. C. They put a candle inside a pumpkin. D. People put a torch inside a pumpkin. Let's check. The right answer is C. Task eight. Complete the sentence. On Halloween, children usually go out in groups and knock at people's doors, yelling the phrase. The variants are: A, joke or sweets; B, trick or sweets; C, joke or treat; D, trick or treat. Check yourselves. The right answer is D. Well done, Michael. Thank you, guys, and thank you so much for telling me about such wonderful holiday as Halloween. Oh, you're welcome. It's our pleasure, Michael. All right, now. It's time to say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, boys and girls. See you soon.